That before Santiago later walks David Bell. He doubles down the right field line. Interesting play right here. Pay attention. Looks like he bumped into Miguel Cairo, who was standing on third base. So what's the call? Well, the call is obstruction by the by the fielder, and the umpire can place him wherever he feels like the, the play would end up. Now, Benito, in my mind, if you keep running here, you can see where Cairo is stopped. It's not intentional. He, he bumps into him naturally. He looks back up. You've got to look at the base. If he continues on, it's almost like football, where the quarterback takes a snap, he's drawing the line off, line off guard, and you throw the pass anyway. It's a free play. Keep running. But he didn't. He went back to third. Umpire Jeff Nelson says that's where you'll stay. All right, we go to the 6 0 0. Aurelia gets plunked. Now, men are on first and second. Well, again, bend but don't break. It's Barnes time. Yeah, you're not going to hit pitch for this. With a base open, he goes to first. So, a chance for the hero in game four. Benito Santiago. He grounds out to Cairo. Thread over, still scores. Cairo did a nice job at third, filling in for Roland, who never played in the series. Matt Morris was fantastic. Felix Rodriguez in. Mike Matheny. Kenny Lofton. Webb out. No gem. Matheny goes into second with a double. You know, it's all, the ball took off on him because if you watch his angle, all of a sudden he cut back. That is a, this is a big play to me right here. Rodriguez in the seventh inning gets the out. He's giving you an out. He tries to force a play that's not there. You know, the umpire doesn't have the slow-mo replay. I call him safe also. Now, is Santiago responsible too for perhaps yelling to throw to third? I don't think he's yelling. To, I don't know. We don't know what he's yelling. Maybe if he did, yeah, he's responsible. Zach Fly scores Matheny. Card's got a one nothing lead. Bottom eight, same score. One out. Morris still dealing. Lofton. Out. What a thorn in the side. Harold, you talked about it. He was two for two. Got brushed back. Went 0 for 16. Got hit. And then went two for two again. This time it's really a driving one in the left. Two on. One out. This is a deep lineup. Lineup. Remember that. Bonds on deck, Kent up, Morris hits him. Barry's coming up with the bases loaded with his team down one zip in the eighth. Carl, there was nobody up in the pin, and then they tried to rush him up there after they got a first and second, and then the bases were loaded before they blinked. Barry got a free swing. Swung at the first pitch. Probably didn't want to get fine in the game, so he figured, why not? That brings Lofton in. We're tied at one. And that brings up the MVP of the LCS, Benito Santiago. Not here. Rounds out to second. So Morris gives up only one, and we go to the ninth, tied at one. Well, it's interesting because you have Morris lead up then, and Keno Martinez sitting on the bench. You let, you're going to keep Matt Morris in the ball game. Questionable. Interesting call. Questionable. So Morris stares at strike three. Vina's on. Another strike. Boy, the bullpen was phenomenal. Bottom nine. Juan Dunstan. They leave Morris in. You have to after you let him hit. Well, Dusty Baker said one of the reasons I like to play Sean Dunstan, he has great at bats every time. Now we bring in Klein to face Loft in the lefty. Barry's looking on. I got the sense that Barry fell in love with Kenny after he was brushed back and delivered that clutch hit. And here's another one. Pace hit to right. David Bell touches third. The throw way off mark, and the San Francisco Giants go back to the World Series for the first time since 89. They'll meet the Angels. And Barry Bonds going to the series for the first time ever. Kenny Lofton, five for eight in games one and games five. The knockdown games, 0 for 13, and three others. Kirk Reeder, strong. Six innings, no earned runs. Two Ks, Bonds, a sack fly, an RBI, a walk. He went 0 for 2, but he had 10 runs batting in in the playoffs so far. He had six in his 27 previous playoff games. He goes to the World Series and after spoke with Mark Torch. It has been a lot of baseball games, a lot of seasons for this man. He has finally reached the World Series. Has it hit you? No, it will on Saturday, though. No, it's a great feeling. We played great. Cardinals played great. I think it was a great series all the way around. There was some good ball games, down to the wire, nail biting. You know, Kenny Lofton came through. You know, they hit him and they fired him up. And, you know, if that's what it takes, I hope they hit him again. Barry, so many people have talked about your inability to perform in October. What kind of statement did you make this October? I didn't make any statement. You know, we all play good together. You know, and it takes a team to win 
World Series. I said earlier, you know, Randy Johnson, Kurt Schilling, that was the best duel I ever seen in a World Series ever, never lost. And it took Gonzo's hit for them to win the World Series. That goes to show, even with the two best pitchers in the game, you need your whole team to win. How different is this for you, having competed at a high level and done things that no other player has done on the field, to be able to now do it on this stage? It's great. You know, I'm glad that I'm riding everyone else's shoulders right now. They're Didn't you say it. that two years ago, that you were riding everyone else's shoulders? To, they rode you to this point, and then you rode them. Do you still feel that way? Yeah, I, I love it, because they're saying every day, you know, we got you, Barry. We, we, we got you. We're going we're gonna to do a good job for you. You know, give us a chance and we're going to do a job. And, I, you know, they're doing it. It's great. How much How much would it mean to you to actually win a world's championship? I don't know yet. I haven't won yet. The Angels are a great team. And, you know, I'm not going into anything thinking, you know, or my head so big that we're, you know, you never know. The Angels are a good team. They played well. They showed that's why they're in the World Series. We played well. That's why we're in the World Series. And who would think two wild card teams would be in the World Series? Do you think the Angels will pitch you any more than anyone else has? I don't know. We'll see. We've got to go out there and just play. It's going to be a battle. They're a great team. Are you happy? I'm happy right now, but I'll be happier when I win the World Series. Barry Bonds and the Giants headed for Anaheim. They're going to Disneyland. <laughs> they are work to do. Most recent World Series appearance go back to 89 when they lost to another West Coast American League team, the A's. Now it's the Angels. And you see that uh, prior to that, it was 62 when you go all the way back to 1936. They won that one in 1954. Oh, good points by Barry Bonds, HR, that this is a total team effort. But I had another National League manager tell me today that he changes the way an opponent has to pitch, the way an opponent has to field. Just having his presence in there ultimately helps the Lothans, and it helps the Dunstans, and it helps the Santiago's really? of the world. Clearly does. I mean, he, he affects how you're going to play your whole game, how you set your defense. He affects who you're going to pitch to, who you're not going to pitch to. He changes the whole dynamics of the ballpark. And I, I think even to how the fans react when you turn on the TV and if Barry Bonds is up at the plate, you can pay attention. But Kenny Lofton is trying to grab some attention himself. And I think what he has done on the stage, having been there before, I saw him destroy the Mariners in the series when he was with Cleveland in the, in the LCS. And the way he can take over a ball game, you put a guy like Kenny Lofton with his experience and with his I have something to prove attitude. Yep. He's the type of guy that can turn things around. But really, Kenny Lofton is a example of what the Giants are all about. This is, has been a team effort through and through. We saw Rich Aurelia in St. Louis. The guy carried him. They come to San Francisco to the West Coast. All of a sudden, it's Lofton. We've seen Kent do it. Their whole team has done it up and down the line. Benito was the MVP. Perfect I mean, acquisition, because you said, you know, a guy at his twilight of his career with something to prove, who's been to one World Series, didn't win, has another chance. It's an ideal opportunity for Kenny, and he has certainly shined. Not shining, the St. Louis Cardinals, they've lost six straight road playoff games when facing elimination. Dave Campbell now joins us, and Dave, we talked about it. It was as if they had men on uh, every inning and a lot of men early in this game and couldn't score.